Let's go over the left hand and the left hand position and our left hand fingers. Let's first start by knowing about our left hand and the numbers that we assign with each finger. We have four fingers. Uh, I have a little tip of one of mine missing, so that's maybe three and three quarters. If you don't have four fingers, we'll, we'll improvise. But for now, you've got four fingers, I hope. We've got the first finger, the second finger, third finger, and the fourth finger. We've got one, two, three, and four. We always want to have where we have a four fret reach on our fingers on the fingerboard. A lot of patterns will be one, two, three, four, or one, three, four. If you were to hear me say, go play a pattern that's one, three, you're just playing where those fingers rest. The most important thing we want to deal with is how we're positioning our hand on the guitar neck. Now, as you get along with it, you can start throwing your thumb over to mute strings, but that's not a technique you want to start with. What that does is it restricts your hand to where your fingers literally shrink together. As I lower my thumb, my hand spreads. If I bring my thumb back over, I can't spread even if I try to. I can't spread my fingers apart. You want to get where your thumb is comfortably right here, midpoint of your back of your neck. Now notice, my thumb is not hanging off the neck. It's not pushing into the neck. All that does is, is create a force pushing your fingers back off the guitar. Let's, let's for a minute imagine holding a baseball with our left hand. You're going to hold it like this. You're going to hold the ball between the two fingers and the thumb. You're not going to have your thumb down here where the ball rolls out. When you do that, you go to throw the ball. It's going to happen. The ball is going to go in 50 different directions. We want the guitar neck between this pot right here. Okay, we want to keep our thumb on the back of the neck, our fingers in the front, and no thumb over here. Keep it down. It gives a spread. Anytime you work on any exercise in the beginning, always think to yourself and always ask, why can't I play this? First thing to think about is it's probably the position of your thumb. Why can't I grab that cord? Take a breath. Stop. Look at the position of your thumb. 99.9% .9 of the problem you're going to have once you get into this, is the position of that thumb. It's going to take a while to build up the muscles in your hands to get used to fretting notes and fretting chords, but when you just can't even get your fingers to spread in to play these things, it's that thumb position. I can stand here, spread out seven, eight frets. The higher up you go, the more frets you can get. But if my thumb's over here, I can barely spread three or four frets, and it's painful. It's pointless. So pay attention to where it's at.